Okay, we're back for match number three. Oops, usually I uh, get into the match first, so they don't just sit here waiting in matchmaking. Anyway, about to go into match number three. We have thoughts we can share, I'm sure. What are your thoughts, Jake? Well, this round is brought to you by this dope ass. What is it? Uh, nope, the, they're blue corn tortilla chips. And uh, with baked in flax, sesame, and sunflower seeds, and quinoa, and a touch of sea salt. Right. Food should taste good with the guac that was made today. Yep, yep. So fresh made guacamole with um, lime juice and cucumbers um, yeah. as two key ingredients of this guacamole. Oh, here we go. Cucumbers is honestly a groundbreaking addition. Um, hum huge fan of the, the cucumbers in there. And these chips are really great. I don't know if food should taste good is like a local thing to the Northeast U.S., but yeah. anybody... Yo, those chips are fucking great. They're awesome. Yeah. High quality. John's now here. Hi, John. John, John's <laughs> in the studio. Um, move on the die roll. Crush the die roll. Six to one wow. against Waffles wow. 22. Yeah. Okay, so this time, Jake, we have picked up a hand with two lands for mm -hmm. the first time. We also have two ether vials. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna keep this because it has a path to exile and a spell card. Right. That on the play is good enough, in my opinion. Also, how many two drops do you play? Like twenty? Yeah, humongous amount. Because like that would be those would be awesome draws. Yep. A land would be good too. Opponents on a mulligan. We're gonna crush them with this hand. Probably not. Oh, they're on a multi five. Maybe we are. Gotta have a little faith. All right, I would like to draw a third land, mm -hmm. and I'd also like to conceal our colors a little bit. You're going to play Field of Ruin first? I'm going to play Field of Ruin first, yeah. yep. Okay. We don't have any, like, double colored spells. Well, we have like, two that are in our hand. Sorry, no, I mean, I mean <laughs> two drops. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't have any blue light or blue blue spells. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Misty Rainforest. Did they scry the bottom or the top? They scry to the top. They played a Mystery Rainforest. Oh, God, it's Boggles. Okay. Okay. That's why they mulligan so much. So um, adjusting our sideboard to account for the uh, graveyard decks has meant that we are weaker to Boggles. Uh, we don't have any Settle the Wreckage or Blessed Alliance. Right. Well, we just got to hope that... Their uh, hand is slow, too slow. Agree. Um, okay, this is perfect because you can buy a water, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, I wouldn't say it's perfect. Uh, we get to do something. Our path to exile is dead unless they play a coarse spirit dancer. Um, or you can vial the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna play it. I don't know. What if they play a spirit dancer? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so Core Spirit Dancer is actually quite good. Um, so, I don't know. This is going to be a little ugly. There is a chance they attack us. Yeah, Core Spirit Dancer is how they unmorgan, basically. Yeah. Spider Umbra. That's the good Umbra against us. Oh, it has Reach? Mm hmm. Yikes. All right, so I'm planning on pathing them, pathing their Dryad Arbor and their upkeep. Um, to try to keep them off of... Like double spell. Yeah, just keep them off as much as possible. Mm -hmm. It'll also buy us a turn to then spell color the next thing. Mm -hmm. um, and we do have a chance to, like, Surprise them with blocks. The, the double vials will be helpful here. They're generally bad. You don't usually want two vials in turns one and two, but um, we just have very little in our deck that actually does anything against Boggles. So we can leverage that a little bit. Uh, that's awkward because um, I do kind of want to see our visions, but I think we have to take the line we discussed before. Mm -hmm. um, if they don't have a second land, they might not really be able to do anything. Um, 
So we'll path this in the upkeep. They don't really have any instant speed interaction, right? Damn. Sell the land. Big coronet, then we're screwed. Spirit Spirit Mantle also screwed. Green man, not as scary. Spirit Dancer. Well, okay. damn. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh land would be amazing, because then we could play out the captain. Two drop would also be fine. Something to do with vial. Okay, okay, cool. So, hmm. We keep attacking. Yeah, so play out Supreme Family. Or do you want to. No, I want to vial that. I want to vial that for sure. Oh so, we're going to start with, with Serum Visions. Yeah, make me think we're digging. Um, Rattle Chains. Rattle Chains. Does further the aggro plan. Mm -hmm. So, I think we'll leave it on top. Winds up if you don't need another land. Howler Fountain can come in tapped. You think? Yeah. We want to preserve our life total, right? Well, yes. Yeah. 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 Cool. I was thinking, like, do we want to dissuade them from attacking? You know, that might be better. But I think... So here's the other thing. Do we attack with this? I think we can attack with this. Right. And if they block, then... But, Oh, there's no way they'll block. Right, so we just, get, in, we just get into one. Or Violent Supreme Family either way, right? Mm, nope, we're going to pass. You sure? We're not trying to just close the game out? Yeah, uh, so this is our best blocker with Double Lords. Like, this is a 5-5 five, five when it blocks. Which mm -hmm. means they can even block it if they play an Ethereal Armor. Okay. Um... So, I think we need to keep it back as a blocker, at least for a turn. What do you think? It, okay. Like, because okay. it, it blocks as a five-five mm -hmm. with Lord Lord. Right. That's huge. Mm -hmm. and the, well, they didn't attack last turn. It's true. All right. All right. Fine. If they if they play a like a uh, Daybreak Coronet, I guess we can spell cover it. Still definitely not violating in the the Supreme Phantom for, for two points of damage. That this is way more valuable as a blocker. As a surprise blocker. Hmm. This is gonna be suddenly a huge What oh they're targeting that. Oh okay, okay. I thought they were targeting this the spirit dancer. Uh, that's fine, we can let that happen. I think targeting the Spirit Dancer might have honestly been a better call, especially since they already saw us burn a path. Right. Oh, it's Bean. Oh, not a human. Now we can't block and kill this. Oh, they didn't attack. Uh, do we get value out of deploying both of these? Yeah, because then I guess we can attack with both, yeah, yeah. right? Time to start being aggressive. Actually, I guess we can't attack with that. Was a bad play. We can't attack with anything. That was stupid. That was a terrible play. Right. Um. Well, you can attack with Mausoleum. Huh? But I think that our creatures have more value as surprise blockers than as attackers. Maybe, maybe we should attack with both of these. Sure. 
Um, if they trade a Spirit Mantle or a Spider Umbra for a Drop Soul Captain, I think that's okay. And then you can attack with the rest of your board if they don't have any. So we'll attack with both of those. Yeah. I mean, I mean, at this point, honestly, it's Supreme Phantom is a free attack also, but... It's a blocker. And it can actually block the... Sure. Block as a 2-2 two -two if, it, if it does the trade there. Block as is. And we have got to spell well a, the lifelink. Yeah. Any of the lifelink things, right. whether it's like the trample one or spirit link or mm -hmm. favorite corner. Um, do we rattle chains now? We get one more point of damage, putting them to eight. Mm -hmm. um, and then we actually have like a huge... Yeah, I think we have to yeah, yeah, rattle chains here. Not expecting any. Uh, but we'll do it with Vile. Yeah, they definitely don't have any like paths in their main deck. Something I should know is if there are paths anywhere. Like if they have them in their sideboard. They probably don't. I can see them running with Good choice. Hyena Umbra. That doesn't matter. Just give it a first striker or something. The key is it doesn't give a lifelink. The only two things that we need, need to worry about are um, cool. Is something giving Spirit Dancer reach mm -hmm. or something giving um, a Glade Cover Scout lifelink? Right. Um, any other card didn't do anything. So, granted, most of the cards in their deck do those things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, basically, we didn't care about specifically Hyena Umbra or. Um, Spirit Mantle if they play it, or Ethereal Armor. Right. Um, but high, uh, Spider Umbra and Celestial, or um, Daybreak Coronet and Spirit Link and Unclenching Courage are all cards. Oh, Rancor we also didn't care about. <laughs> Alright, so um, after sideboarding, Thalia is actually really good. They, they sometimes keep like one land hands, and Thalia just completely shuts their deck. Oh, yeah. Um, Unified Will is good. They never have more than one or two creatures. If they Echoing if truth. they have three creatures, then then they're gonna lose. Um, Heckling Truth is good because it can bounce key enchants. Um, the dream scenario is getting to bounce uh, a single enchantment off of a creature when Daybreak Coronet is targeting yeah. it, um, or even when Daybreak Coronet is already on it. Well, no, Mystical Prison playing like they have four Rancors and a Daybreak Coronet. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah they, they have like four, if they have any number of enchantments that all have the same name plus one Daybreak Coronet, then uh, Echoing Truth is great. Uh, Rest in Peace does nothing. Stony Silence does nothing. Adolon sort of does what Thalia does, but way too slow. Right. Uh, and the thing that, that it doesn't do is it doesn't punish uh, land like hands, whereas Thalia does. So we're going to keep that in. Worship is a little awkward. Because uh, sometimes they don't have a way to kill it, but they also gain like 10,000 life. Right. Uh, but I guess we might as well. Um, okay, what are you cutting? So No Gas Herald does nothing. Remorseful Cleric does nothing. Um, Phantasmal Image does pretty much nothing. Uh, paths do very little. Um, they do get rid of um, like the Spirit, spirit dancer. dancer. So I think start by cutting the three, and that gets us to the... The seven for seven. So we'll keep sure. in one path as a hedge. Right. Um, I think that's probably okay. Um, and I'd rank these these seven in order of uh, significance in the matchup. Sure. Uh, worship is really jank. Uh, there are definitely games that. So they play in chain. <laughs> some uh, not really. No. I mean, okay, Manalik. This is a hand that is slow on the play, on the draw, but it has a mana leak on two and a spell color on three. So if they don't like, they're gonna they they didn't mulligan, so that means they have a bottle. Um, hopefully on turn two they do something like play Dryad Arbor and like one enchantment, right? Or maybe multiple bottles. Okay. That's good. Um, so we'll use our Pluto Delta to get a basic island. 
since Flooded Strength can get anything, um, and play out the Wanderer. Now the Wanderer is our clock. That was one of the things this hand was missing. The other is a Thalia. I would love to draw a Thalia next turn. Every time I come here, they don't have the block. Do you just have to go early in the day? Mm -hmm. I don't know. This guac comes from like a little corner market. I went at six and they had it. Spirit, oh wow, okay, so Spirit Dancer, they don't have any enchantments. Well, they probably do. I mean, currently. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Uh, I feel like you just gotta get rid of the Spirit Dancer. I don't know. I don't know. Because if we wait a turn, right, if we hold up Mana Leak this turn, and they don't have a third land, which they all the time will keep two land hands, one and two land hands. We counter, we ignore an enchantment that doesn't matter. We counter an enchantment that's a problem. The following turn, and if they don't do anything that we care about, like if they just played like two Hyena Umbras, right. which is Rattle Chains, the following turn we have Mana Leak and Spell Killer and Path to Exile. Okay. I think actually we, we got it. We give him a turn here. Sure. Um, th th we have so many options at uh, on turn three with this hand that I think the, the priority here is not not losing the game, not functionally losing the game on their turn three. We can make it past this turn. Is that the reach one? Yeah, I think that's okay. Well, hmm. um, I think that's okay. I'd much rather hit a Daybreak Coronet or something similar. Right. Grip's Boon. It's like the same thing as... Uh, functionally the same as Spider Umbra, except worse. Right. Um, since it doesn't give Totem Armor. They could potentially get it back later. Yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. I think that's okay too. Yeah. I mean, we can even flash in our rattle chains and block. Mm -hmm. So Rancor really increases their clock. I think that's something we're going to actually have to counter. Well, yeah, okay. Because you can still block. Well, yeah, but then they, they just lose. Back. They just lose the the. Um, bro, okay. No, they don't even lose the rancor. They have they have totem armor. Okay, yeah. I think we have to counter rancor. Uh, we don't have any use for double blue next turn, so. I think they're going to not attack. They're 12. They and they only, a lot of work. And it's, only, and it's only three, dam three damage. I don't think it's worth it for them to attack. Mm -hmm. hmm. They're doing our dirty work, man. Sure. As long as they don't have Trample or Lifelink, which is a big if, uh, we actually also have More Than Con as a really good answer. Um as a way to just continue to prevent them from killing us. Mm -hmm. uh, this turn, probably just quell the scariest thing. Right. It is, it is really frustrating that they're drawing so many cards off the Spirit Dancer, but I, 
I do, maybe we'll go back and watch this video later and regret not pathing it. Um, okay, so. I think at this point, like, okay, let's do some math about like how many turns well, it's going to take to kill them. Um, so, I mean, it's impossible without um, knowing if they're going to have lightning or not. Right. So right now, they have us on a three-turn clock. We're okay. at 15. We're going to fetch a 14. They, they have a five. A five-two. Right. Um, oh, Thalia. Uh, it has flying, so that doesn't do anything. Thalia is so good when they have Rancor. Um, um, and actually, cool, cool intera little interaction worth mentioning this here. Burn some time off the clock. If they have one totem armor and the thing is only two toughness, which comes up a surprising amount of the time, just like this, you can double block with a Thalia and some other creature, and mm. Thalia will kill it, air quotes, in first strike damage, and the totem armor will fall off, and then your other creature will kill it for real. Nice. Um, won't come up here because it goes spoon, but it's worth mentioning. Anyway, uh, do we let Rancor resolve? I think so, yes. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. The, uh, the problem is then it makes our Moreland Haunt useless. I guess we, yeah, I guess we do. I guess we do. And then if they like daybreak here, then we'll feel good about letting that resolve. Ethereal armor. Oh, okay. We have to kind of. That's that. a problem. That sucks. And now they can resolve the. Um, now they can. Yeah. Do I want some spaghetti? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Our next match is going to be brought to you by spaghetti. All right. I'm going to grab some spaghetti. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes, sir. Did you get out of the greenhouse? I don't know what you mean. Oh, uh, uh, yes and no. No, we'll probably fast forward at the start. What things? I can't remember. I'll I'll remember. Yeah. Are you sure? It's okay that we wash them? Mm-hmm. Can we hear it? I don't know. Well, I know, but like, we can go with them, right? Let's figure that out. No, that's fine. Makes a good backdrop. I don't know about that, but I think it probably won't be loud enough to matter. Oh, no. Oh, another spirit dancer. All right, we're taking five, going to nine. They have three cards in hand, two spirit dancers, so they have a lot of cards. Um, start with the same revisions, because if we find another lord, we might be able to just surprise kill them. There's another lord, and another lord. Um, the spell killer is not going to matter, because we're going for the kill next turn. The drog skull captain probably also doesn't matter, because we're going for the kill next turn. So put that on the bottom. I don't know what we're drawn to. I guess Echoing Truth. So that'd be better. So we will Supreme Phantom here. Attack for six. Put them to five. We'll path their Spirit Dancer in upkeep to minimize the chances of uh, dying super fast. But I think we're, the chances are still high. We can even chump block, absorbing three points of damage with the Supreme Phantom. So if they don't have lifelink, hey, Rancor, seven. We have three toughness, so that's four damage. Seal of Primordium, that doesn't do anything. That's weird. Why do they play that? What are they afraid of? Vile? Probably Vile. Alright, if they pass, then we win. I think we got there, Jake. You think you think so? Yep. Oh my god. So um let me give you a quick recap. I'll, I'll give you a recap later. Yeah. 
We have video evidence. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we have Supreme Phantom. Right now we have, uh, once we cast Supreme Phantom, we'll have two, or any combination of our three creatures will, will be lethal damage. Um, so unless they have removal, which we can block without oh chains. Cool. Wow. We got there. Nice. Awesome. So, uh, I think we did play that really smart. Mm -hmm. um, I know I was just sort of saying, like, oh, well, maybe we'll regret not killing the Spirit Dancer. I think we played to our outs there, where if we uh, had expended the path mm -hmm. just to, to keep track of what we did instead of um, pathing the Spirit Dancer, was we mana leaked a Rancor early, uh -huh. which would have amounted to a lot more damage. Um and then we spell colored an ethereal armor, which also would have amounted to a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. So, in particular, on the previous turn, uh, we had a one three blocker up, and they had a seven two to trample. If that had been, if that had a rancor and an ethereal armor on it, it would have been way beyond lethal attacking through our blocker. Um. So, if we had let those two spells resolve, we would have died. That doesn't necessarily mean that they would have had them, because if we packed the Spirit Dancer, we wouldn't have... They wouldn't have seen as many cards. But in any in any case, I think the, the smart play was to hope to fade Lifelink and then race them on the board. Um, and we did that, uh, and we did fade Lifelink, mm -hmm. uh, and we presented a fast block. Uh, Jake, when you were away from the screen, what happened was we uh, we had a we had a screen phantom in hand. Mm -hmm. We top decked uh, a serum visions and cast it, digging specifically for a second board because that let us do lethal, and we found a second. I assume you used the path at some point. Yep, uh, in their m most recent upkeep, um, I pathed one of the spirit dancers. Oh yeah, those just to give them fewer redraws. Nice. Yeah. Cool. So that was great. Not a good matchup. I do think that we earned that win a little bit. They multi five uh, in game one, but that's a normal thing with Boggles. They multi a Boggle every time. Um, Playing one against a lot of decks that don't really care what we're doing. Yeah, that's three in a row uh, sort of anti-interactive decks. Well, match one was anti-interactive, and then matches two and three were uninteractive. Mm -hmm. I'd like to play some good old-fashioned interactive magic in round four, mm -hmm. which we will go to in a moment.